Hey guys, welcome back to the DWF. It's your host, say it with me, Dan Dan Wrestle Fan. Thank you guys so much for watching. And today we are back with another Mount Rushmore. However, this one is going to be slightly different. This time, we are going to look at action figures and do our Mount Rushmore of particular action figures. This selection for this episode we are going to be looking at Seth Rollins' figures. So, let's get them lined up, shall we? Alright, so here we have a look at... I, I don't... Actually, I don't know if this is all of the Seth Rollins' figures I have, but this is the majority of them. And my Mount Rushmore is in here, and it's, guys, looking at them now is almost a little harder than when I came up with my Mount Rushmore, because there's two on here that I forgot about completely. And with that being said, I'm, I'm going to have to instantly change my list. So, Mount Rushmore spot number four originally was our Summer Slam, or Hell in the Cell, Seth Rollins. This was just a fun Seth Rollins. I really like this figure. It's just a great, fun figure from a very fun moment. However, the moment isn't everything, right? So, I'm... This was my original number four on my Mount Rushmore of Seth Rollins action figures, and then I saw it because I completely forgot about it. It's the new Top Picks Shield Seth Rollins. This is just an amazing figure from his start, right? Like, first coming into WWE as the Shield, this figure is just incredible. You couldn't ask, if you want a Shield Seth, it's the best thing we have. This basic, get out of here. Well, I'm not going to actually throw it. I, I tossed it and then tried to catch it and couldn't do that. Anyway, basic, get out of here. We've got the Elite. The Elite is way better for multiple reasons, but the Elite Seth Rollins is incredible. It's actually going to bump this off my my Mount Rushmore. It, you know, the Dusty Roads, that's an honorable mention. It'll be an honorable mention, Seth Rollins, but this Seth, you can't get a better shield set than this. I love this set for so many reasons. Just a great overall figure. The likeness is there. Uh, you know, we really have, we've come a long way with doing, I'll just show you the heads. You guys can see the difference, right? Like it's night and day. This one's way better. Like it's not even, it's not even close. I'll show you the sides here. Like it's just, <laughs> One is superior to the other. As far as the articulation, of course, the elites are way better. It's just all around, this is the Seth Rollins you want in your collection if you want a shield Seth Rollins. So this shield Seth Rollins makes my number four spot. Now, my number three spot, I think, is going to be decidedly the Seth Rollins figure that I have used the most uh, as far as, you know, just, just setting up matches and stuff when I was just doing matches, just displaying. It's a Seth Rollins that is really, really close to me. Probably the one that means the most to me. And it's simple. But it's this Seth Rollins. You, <laughs> as you guys can see, as I try and stand him up, he just falls over because his legs are broken in so well. Uh, this Seth Rollins is just a really solid set. There's not much to it, right? It's a very basic, plain... All black gear. He's got the Seth Rollins knee pad and he's got the wrist tape Seth Rollins. That's all it is. But this Seth Rollins has been one I've used time and time again for multiple projects, uh, just displaying in the room, uh, hanging out, you know, on shelves and stuff. This has been my go to Seth for so long. And I, I think that's why he makes the list because otherwise he's just a plain old Seth. Nothing fancy, nothing special about it, but I love this Seth. It's nostalgic a little bit to me, making my number three. Now, my number two is a... Uh, I don't think my number two is the tie. I'm going to have a tie at number one, guys. I'm sorry. There's there's so many sets. My number two is his NXT. You got to love the NXT Seth. This is such a fun figure. Such a good gear. I think the only set that we ever got in trunks. So... This one took me forever to find. We got it at the Treasure Toy Trove, of course, of all places, right? <laughs> but it took me forever to find this figure. This is one I was hunting for a long, 
long time. Uh, but we did finally get a hold of it at Treasure Toy Trove. Check them out, Treasure Toy Trove, on Facebook. And you, you guys know the drill. You've seen it. You've seen the videos. You've seen it. So Seth Rollins, this one's my number two. Number one, it's... How do you not go with your ultimate? How do you not go with your ultimate? And how do you not go with this guy with an ultimate head sculpt thrown on there? We threw an ultimate head on this one because the gear is phenomenal. Right? This is one of the best Seth Rollins gears on a figure. We threw an ultimate head on there to give him the longer hair because the original one, it just, it wasn't doing anything for me. It's it's, it's still a good figure. You just got to get that updated head on there. And then we have the ultimate, which you guys already know. This thing is an absolute gem. This is the best set that money can buy. Uh, aside from like really, really good customs, this is the best base set money can buy. Right there is my... my Mount Rushmore of Seth Rollins figures. Uh, if anything, I could probably bump this one because it's on here for nostalgia's sake. But I just, you know, I really like these sets, right? That's that's the goaded line, right? So let's take a look at the other ones. Let's take a look at who didn't make it, right? So we have basic Seth. I think he was in a two-pack with Roman or Dean. I forget who he came with. I'm pretty sure he was one of the two-packs. Or Dean and Roman came together and Seth was the solo one you had to buy. Uh, I don't remember exactly who was what, but we've got basic shield Seth. We've got, of course, runner-up the Dusty Rhodes Seth, which again is an amazing Seth Rollins. There's nothing wrong with this figure. Just, you know, this was a, a figure for a moment in time. Uh, we have <laughs> we have this Seth. I just threw his Monday Night Messiah shirt on him. I just for fun, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know why he has the shirt. But mostly because we have the same Seth almost when they did this one. So it's just two really good Seths. Just not, I don't know, the gear's good. It's iconic Seth Rollins gear. Just not enough to make my Mount Rushmore. Just, I don't know, is it the head maybe? The head scream? I don't like that so much. I think this was a better screaming head if you want the, the yelling head to Seth, but, you know, we've got the, the fix-up one that I put on my list instead. I liked this Seth a lot. This was, I think this was our first look at the man bun Seth. I think this was the very first time we got this head sculpt with the man bun was on this. Was this a two-pack, guys? Help me remember. I think this was a two-pack with an AJ Styles, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, you know what, Greeter Figs, I know you're going to know it. Uh, it's a shout out to Greeter Figs, because uh, he's going to know. I'm pretty sure this was in a two-pack with, I want to say, AJ Styles. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we got a look at the Man Bun Seth, which I ended up buying a few so I could get some more of these Man Bun Seths. Here we go with this gear again, but this is the basic version of this Seth. Not bad either. We've got our Monday, Monday Night Messiah Seth, another good set. Probably my least favorite of, like, the recent... Elites. I guess this really isn't recent anymore, but out of the more recent elites with double jointed arms, this is probably my least favorite Seth. I don't know. I didn't the Monday Night Messiah gimmick, it was okay, right? It wasn't I wasn't like ex uh, I can't say I wasn't excited Seth, so you gotta be excited. I think this was a better one. Of course we replaced the head. But I think this gear is just better. It doesn't have the little uh Monday Night Messiah like so it doesn't have this, the Rollins. It still has a picture of him, like a silhouette, but it's not the poster-looking one. It just, I felt like that ruined the color scheme of the gear and everything. This just looks so much cleaner to me. Then we've got, oh, I really like this Seth, too. You know, this is a definitely an honorable mention, Seth. Um, this t-shirt was when I was starting to make shirts and stuff for characters. I was getting into the whole sewing my own shirts and everything and doing the Velcro to slap them on there for people. And this was like one of the first or second shirts that I ever did. And I specifically tried to match shirts to find something that matched the gear really well. Uh, so it's, it's kind of cool, I guess, for that. But it's kind of another basic. I do like this gear, though. I just wish I didn't have mine so chipped up and so beat up. I should have taken better care of it. I'll find another one someday. Here we've got a... Oh, this is an old Seth, too. I, You know what, though? This one... This one's okay. Not an honorable mention. 
it, it's an okay Seth, right? This wasn't anything that I thought was... At the time, I probably loved this Seth, but it's, it's not as good as some of the other ones we've seen. We, we got the Tough Talkers. Okay, I need batteries for my Tough Talkers, Seth. Um, another fun... I thought this whole line was fun. The way they had these sensors here on their chest so you can stand them next to each other, hit the button, hit the button on the other guy, and they'll talk to each other. Smack talk a little bit. It was, that was fun. We've got a custom suited Seth, which I always like making my suited figures, but it's not... This is never going to be topped here. You know what I'm saying? Another gimmick, Seth, with the Rey Mysterio. Again, just another... It was a very fun figure for sure. This was our first Elite that came with the Man Bun head sculpt, and I bought a few of these to get more of that, that head sculpt. But, uh, yeah, just another kind of fun. It's kind of like the Dusty Rhodes one, right? It's it's a moment in time, Seth. That's that's what's fun about it. Moving right along. I wish I had this in an elite form. i not sure if this figure comes in an elite form because I love this gear. I might have to look into this, see if I can find one, or how hard it for, would be for me to paint one up. Because I would love to have this Seth in elite form. Uh, the gear is so, so good. Right, that's just, that is an excellent looking Seth. It's only a basic, uh, but maybe, maybe someday we'll have an elite of that. Here is a fun Seth. I like this too, but again, this is a basic. I'm almost positive they never did an elite for this one. I could be mistaken, though. I, I feel like I would have seen this one in my travels at some point. If they would have done an Elite for this, I feel like I would have seen that one in my travels. But again, another fun set, but a basic, so not going to be enough to make the list. And here we've got two similar sets. Um, now this, I would say, is a pretty iconic Seth, right? The black and gold is is very iconic Seth Rollins. In fact, we might even take this black and gold over here and paint this one in the white gear and do a white and gold. Leave this one in the black and gold and paint this one into the white and gold gear. We might we might do that. If there's no white and gold elite that we can buy, we might paint this guy up. Or I might buy a second one of these so I can paint it up. And finally, if I was going to put a suit, suited Seth on my list, it would have been this one. I love this fun Seth so much. This is just a very fun, I mean, oh, this is just, this is a very fun Seth Rollins, right? It's it's not Seth Rollins, but we threw the, the man bun head on there because I feel like if he's going to wear this suit, you got to have the man bun. I want to get some more, like, suited bodies. In fact, I might try and track down more of these Build-A-Figures to do some of his fun costumes and paint them up, try and get some of these fun awesome costumes painted up for him because uh, he used to do a lot of the suits you guys probably remember too is that a year ago two years ago he was always had these fun elaborate suits uh, so we might do some some fix-ups on his suits but anyway guys let's take a look at him again we've got number four shield seth from the top picks i think or greatest hits i don't remember we got this fun seth and i honestly I want to say this was a SummerSlam or something. We picked this up at an Ollie's for like three bucks. That was years and years ago. Number two, we have the NXT Seth, the only Trunks Seth. And number one, we have tied the nine, Series 97, I believe, Seth, and the Ultimate Edition Seth. So there, once again, guys, this is my, uh, my personal Seth Rollins Mount Rushmore. Do you guys have a better... Seth Rollins, uh, Seth Rollins, what? Seth Rollins action figure Mount Rushmore. Let me know in the comments if you guys agree with my selections here and you think these are some of the best that are deserving of a Mount Rushmore. They might not be the best, but do you have any of these on your Mount Rushmore? Let me know. Love to talk to you guys in the comments. See you next time. Bye.